I'd like to call upon our first speaker now, the beautiful Rosalie Cristiani. Thank you so much. Thank you all. I want to particularly thank the cause group who have gathered so many volunteers and is responsible for putting this together today. Thank you all. And thank you, Dr. Rachel Carling Jenkins, who is one of the very few true leaders in Parliament. Please give a round of applause. My name is Rosalie Cristani and I happen to be a local government councillor for almost six years now. I've seen firsthand how it's hurt the grassroots of this country, of our community. I actually want to give an apologies to uh, Daniel Nalai of the Rise of Australia Party. He couldn't be with you today, but he sends his regards. Done a lot of work to bring awareness to these issues. Thank you to the police as well for your protection. About four years ago, I started noticing sexualised promotion through council. And I thought, I don't think our community care to see their rates being paid to sexualise and promote a lifestyle that kills people up to 20 years earlier than they should. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Don't waste our ratepayers and taxpayers' money on so-called unsafe schools, on so-called safe schools. We truly want to return safety to our schools. Yeah. I was absolutely smashed when I tried to do something about it. It took me 18 months to recover. I went to ground and I started thinking and praying and researching. I came back stronger and I realised that we needed to make another stand. So June last year, I actually put in a motion to try to, to write to the state government to defund safe schools. I asked them to join with me. And by the 18 months that I'd gone to ground, the community had a gut full of safe schools. They had a gut full of respect for relationships. And they had a gut full of seeing their poor children being damaged. By then, my councillors finally agreed with me and they agreed to write to the government. They agreed to hold a forum. Yeah. That forum happened two nights ago, less than 48 hours ago. Marjana also got to speak at that forum. That forum was a public forum that was almost shut down this last Tuesday. The councillors got a little bit edgy and they thought, whoa, we got to shut down because Dr. MCG, he likes to play games. Now, a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about. Do a little Googling or else I'll get in trouble if I say his name. Dr. MCG, I'll call him. He pulled out and threw a hissy fit and said, oh, it's not balanced enough. Well, let me tell you, the so-called unsafe schools is not balanced enough. It's a bunch of lies. If you look on the state edu education website, it has a list of myths that no, they don't use props, no, they don't do this, no, they don't promote it or force it or don't allow an opt-out. They're ba basically calling all these speakers here liars. They're not liars. Who's the liars? Who's the bullies? So anyway, this motion last Tuesday to shut the forum down, they voted it down and I was devastated. And then one of my colleagues pulled out a very good procedural motion and she allowed for it to, to be the decision to be held off for two weeks so it allowed the forum to go forward we had 200 concerned community members 48 hours ago that said we don't want safe schools we got to hold it in peace we got to he hear the voice of the community four weeks ago i went to the premier gala's ball for one reason and one reason alone and that is to meet premier andrews for the first time and I went up to him. I thanked him for looking after the roads. But I also said, I'd like you to stop safe schools. Yes. To his face, I said it. He's on, he's on a warning now. He looked at me. He stammered. He paused. He ignored me and he went straight past. Is that what he's doing to the parents? Yes. So let me tell you, we need to make changes in this state. Yeah. Are you going to look?
look at who you're voting for finally. Yes. Look at who has funded safe schools, federally and state. Look at it. I want you to look at it. Ignore the fact if they're major or not. And vote for people like Rachel. Make sure you vote for people like Rachel. Don't take lies into Parliament anymore. Okay? Write to them. Send them flowers with notes saying defund schools. Send them a postcard from Mexico. Make sure you get the job done. If they don't listen to you, then you go and get elected in their place. And if you can't, then you send someone else to. Okay? And if you can't, then you make sure you send your resources behind them. Yeah. It is time to change the government. Yeah. Don't just look at the majors either. It is time to change the character of every politician. Yeah. Don't put up with the lies anymore. Yeah. Okay? Right Good. Right so no more safe schools. Yeah. Let me tell you, we truly want to bring our schools back to safety. So let's take back the language and let them stop their deceptive language of the so-called safe schools, okay? Thank you very much, everyone. God bless you all. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.